Hey guys, it's Kellen, and today I'm going to show you how to do a flower on your nails. Um, I had a flower on my nails a couple of weeks ago, and actually, I had gotten a manicure about six months ago. That's that's the only manicure I've had this whole year. I know that's crazy, but it was about six months ago when I had it, and it stayed on there for a really long time. So this flower should stay on here for a really long time, just like my flower did. So all you're going to need today is you're going to need um, your base color. I'm going to use blue because I just think the blue is really pretty with the green. So you're going to use the blue for your base. And you can use pretty much any color. Like it would be, it would even be okay to use the purple or maybe even the brown if you wanted to. But um, we're just gonna use the purple. I mean the blue. And then you're gonna use your green color for your leaves and your um, petals. You're gonna need a nail to toe nail art decoration thing. It needs to be really sparkly. I know my nails look horrible. I'm sorry. Um. Oops. Um. So you're just going to paint, um, it, it's, just, it's called striper. So you're going to need that. And then after that, you're going to need your white base. And then, well, it's not your base. You're going to use this for your flower. And then you're going to need a setting tool to use to put on your, you can use it on your finger, but it, 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 I know it comes off really easy, but it's a lot easier to do it this way. But it's really, it's, it's fine. And you're also going to need your overcoat, like you do for all my videos. And then you're going to need your dotting tool, of course. So, let's get started. We're going to shuffle over to our nail art. We're going to be doing all the thumb today on Landry. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to show our thumb. Here's what's up here. Alrighty, so we've got the thumb. All we're going to do is we're going to start out by painting the whole nail blue. Now, as you're doing this, you have to make, you that just went in there. Um, as, as we do this, you're going to be thinking, why will we be painting the nail blue? Well, as I told you earlier, the nail will be blue because it, I think that the blue looks really pretty with the, um, the green and the white. I know I messed up. That's okay. So, after you have the nail completely painted, all you have to do is just wait for that to dry. While we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the uh, nail art pins, um, where you can get them. I also have, I have these, and then I have, uh, they come in a lot of colors. You can buy them at any brand, and you can get them at your, pretty much any place that you want to go get them. Yeah, we have a place in our mall, and it's called Fashion Infinity or something, and I got all of these from here. Um... And then you can also, and then you have your, but if you really are not used to using the dotting tool, then you might actually want to use the nail art pen. I love these nail art pens because they're very neat, and uh, they're by Sally Hansen, and they're, they're supposed to be really cool, and I use it a lot, and it's just, it's neat. So I think Landry's nail is dry, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Landry? Just put it down. Alrighty. So after the nail is painted, you're going to get your uh, tray, and you should already have white paint on it. Mine already does. You're going to get your dotting tool. Black. Huh? So sorry, it's kind of black. It's okay. from the previous. Alrighty. So, so you're going to cover the tool in white, just like that. Alright, and then you're going to take it, and you're going to do a dot on the edges. Try and fit five in. You're going to try and do an overcoat over top of that. It's okay if it looks kind of, um, without, it looks funny without the middle part, but we always do this part first. Just so then the middle part blends in with the other part. So now you're going to take your green. I'm going to use the green. You don't have to use green. You usually don't use green. But you can use any other colors. Now you're going to want to use nail polish remover to clean off this color because it will mix in with your green. 
So after that's off, we can use. Sorry guys, your computer shut off. And then after that, we can use um, the green. So the green needs to go on the tool. It's okay if the light's still there. We'll just put the green right here. Alrighty, after the green is on the tool, we're going to put the green up. Again, we used... Alright. Uh, I already showed it to you. LA Colors Current. You're going to dip your tool, just like you did the white one. Uh oh. Why do we always get hair? Dip your tool, just like the white one. And you're going to take it, and you're going to want to set it right in the middle. It's not going to show up at first. You're going to have to do it a couple times. Which is okay. Unless you're in a hurry. You probably shouldn't be doing this if you're in a hurry. It should come out looking like that. I don't know if you can see the green. It's really pretty, but it's really kind of light. After that, you can always add um, different colors to it. Like, I could go ahead and add the yellow to it. So then you're going to add the yellow to it, and after that, we're going to add just a touch. Sorry, that's my air conditioner. There we go. So I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it's just that light detail of yellow. Now we're going to get out the favorite part, and it's called Nail to Toe clean color. You're going to take it and you're going to add it on top of the whole nail on the flower. So we're just going to add it and we're going to take a swirl around it. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing. You're just going to want to swirl it around just to make it look like the the flower is almost flying. <laughs> Now, you probably shouldn't use this with a color. That wouldn't be the very smart idea. So, you always want to either use sparkle coat or maybe even a clear coat. So, after that, I'm, not I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it, but it's got that light touch of sparkle to it. So, you when you're it? done and after all that dries, you can kind of see it. Oh, well. Wow. After it dries, all you have to do now is cover it up with your over top. Over coat. Sorry. Just gonna take it and you're gonna over coat. And that will be your finishing look. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of helpful tips while Andrew is getting cleaned up for our next video. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to start and tell you about a couple of tips to use with the flower tool. Now, if you're going to use the flower tool on any of your nails, it's most likely that you would want to use it on your toes because when it's on your fingers, it, looks, it does look really well, but when it's on your toes, it looks even better because you have a bigger toe and you can use it a lot better. And then if you're going to do it on your fingers, I wouldn't put it on all your fingers, nor would I put it on all your toes. I usually put my finger to tail, I put it on this finger, this one, so then you can make sure that it only shows that um, little piece. So after that, you're going to take um, your polish and you have to make sure to clean up all your things and um, make sure that you close all your polish because we don't want anybody drying up their polish or anything. I know this video is really long, but I wanted to make sure that y'all know that y'all don't need to put the flower on all your nails because that makes you look kind of tacky. Well, not tacky. It just doesn't look very good without the um, thing. So I will um, be posting later on, and then we will make another video. Bye, guys.